Hi everybody, it's Parker from TestPartChampions.com and today I'm going to do another GED math practice problem of the day. So the question is, if you start with $402 and then you spend $90, how much do you have left? Answer this without a calculator. So go ahead and try this out and then we'll go over it. Okay, hopefully you had a chance to try this out. Now, for some people this might be an easy problem or this might be something that you already know how to do and that's fine. That means that you're in pretty good shape. Um, but if not, that's okay. We're going to go over it. This is Subtraction essentially without a calculator and it's a very basic skill that you'll definitely want to know how to do for the GED test. So again, for those who already know how to do this, then that's fine, I apologize. Um, but for those who don't, this is a good video for you, hopefully to help get you on the right track here. So what I recommend is to always write this out. This is the same with addition to what whenever you have addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, I would always just stack the numbers up on top of each other like this. So we've got 402. And I'm not even going to put the dollar sign because it's just one more thing to get us confused here. But it is $402 and we spend $90. Let me put a dollar sign here. We spend $90. How much do you have left? So how much do you have left? That's a hopefully an indication to you that we need to subtract. So we don't want to do 402 minus 90. Okay. And so... What we do is 2 minus 0. So if you start with 2 and you don't take any away, you're just left with 2. Now this one, this part is where it might get a little bit, it might get a little bit tricky for some. So if we do 0 minus 9, if you have none, you can't take away 9. So we can't do 0 minus 9. Now, that would give us a negative number. That would give us negative 9. But that's not the right answer here. So 0 minus 9, you can't do that. You can't take away 9 from nothing. And if you do, you get a negative number, which is not going to be the correct way to do this here. So what we do is, let's look at the number next door. We've got a perfectly good 4 right here. So what we can do is we can borrow. So what I mean by that is let's cross the 4 out here, and we'll replace it by a 3. So we're going to take 1 away. So 4 minus 1 is 3. Okay, and then we're going to put a 1 right here and make this a 10. So now we can do 10 minus 9. So 10 is a bigger number than 9, so we can do subtraction without getting a negative number. So 10 minus 9 is 1. Okay, and so imagine like there's an imaginary 0 here, even though we don't have to write the 0, but you can if you want. And then we just do 3 minus 0 gives us 312. So you would have $312 left. All right, so that's the end of the video, guys. Please give me a thumbs up if this was helpful. That way I'll know, and I'll know how to improve and make these videos better for you. Hit that subscribe button, too, if you want to make sure that you don't miss any of these GED math problems of the day. Again, I apologize if this is pretty basic for you, but I don't want to assume anything. I don't want to assume your starting point. So hopefully this was helpful for you anyway, guys. Good luck with your GED test prep studying.